What's going on YouTube? <clears throat> I think it's time for us to rap a little bit. And uh, I think a lot of people that are going to watch this video are definitely going to relate to this video. Wow, as soon as I start, there's like a tsunami wind comes up. But uh, anyways, here's the thing guys. So, um, I went out to this, this uh, concert last night. It wasn't really a concert. It's kind of like my future brother-in-law. He was playing, so I said, hey, let me go out and check the band. So I kind of heard this band before, but I just wanted to go out and show my support. Now, even he knows it. This is a crappy band. When I say crappy, I mean crappy. But the thing that, that kind of sucks about the situation is my future brother-in-law is just doing it temporarily. He's not putting his all into it. Just a temporary thing just to be able to play. But the lead singer of this band actually thinks they're actually going to make it. Now, this is not one of those situations where I'm trying to hold somebody back or whatever. And there's some of you right now who are in things or in activities that you guys think you're going to excel at. But actually, you're not. Because everybody wasn't meant to do everything. Just because Jimi Hendrix was a, a rock star doesn't mean I can go out and be a rock star like Jimi Hendrix. Doesn't mean that. But here's what I'm trying to say, guys. Is that this guy is going to spend a lot more time. He's already in his 40s right now. Is going to spend a lot more time trying to make this band when he could step back and focus on some things that maybe he will actually be able to accomplish. Now I said that to say this. There are a lot of us right now that are watching this video, right? And don't have a clue of what their passion is. Don't have a clue of what they actually want to do in life. You've never figured it out. Some of you guys are 50, 60 years old right now and have never figured out what you're really good at. And if you figured it out, you're not getting paid for it. You see, that's a big thing. There are droves upon droves of college students right now who are stepping into college with a major and the way they picked their major was basically on what their friends are doing. What are you going to major in? And a lot of times, sometimes they say, you know what, I'm undecided. So their friend, the major in nursing, the nail major in nursing, and or, you know, or I want to be a teacher because their friend wants to be a teacher. They just pick these so-called jobs, some based on, I want to help people. Okay? There's nothing wrong with helping people, but help yourself before you help people. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're going down in a crash and, and, the, and the plane is going down, you have to put your mask on first before you can uh, help someone else. Always think about that. But here's the deal. A lot of us out there right now don't know what we want to do in life. We had a job we hate. We don't know what we want to do in life. We're getting older day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. And it kind of, it, it, it turns into kind of a sucky life. So my question is to you, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to continue to not really find out what you're good at, what you actually love doing, and make a living out of it? Or are you just going to continue doing the things that you're doing because you want to think, well, i got to be safe, i got to support myself, i got to support my family, but you're miserable. You're miserable. There, I've talked to so many college students that say, hey, and I'll ask, because I sell, my, my demographic is, is kids, and I'll ask, what are you majoring in? Um, I don't know. My mom wants me to major in such and such. Or my dad thinks I should be a such and such. Or, you know what, I don't know yet. You know, maybe this, maybe that. But nobody bases the opinion on their passion, their God-given gift. They just go out and, and look at the newspaper and find things that uh, that look attractive as far as money-wise. How much things get, you know, you get paid doing this. Or maybe a Yahoo article comes up and say, hey... Financial advisors can make this amount of money, but you don't really like finance. You know? So, I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of a... It's kind of a weird idea here. I mean, I, I don't know. And how do we get to this place? How do we get to the place of just picking, um, you know, majors and jobs and things of this nature, whatever, you know? I even heard a conversation one time where guys were sitting around and say, Hey, where do you work? Well, I work at such and such. And then the guy asked, oh, are you hiring? 
Oh, they hiring over there? He said, yeah, man, they, they got all kinds of job openings. Man, you, you, can you put a word in for me or whatever? He said, yeah, my, my manager, you know, I tell you what, I'll get your application. I tell my manager you're looking for a job, boom. Next thing you know, 20 years later, that was your job. What kind of life is that? So I want to hear your questions and comments. Maybe you guys don't think you should, should work in your passion. Maybe you guys think something to, totally different. Let me hear what you have to say on this subject. Are you suffering? Are you one of the ones that suffer from this problem and you, you're trying to find a way out and, and trying to find a way to fix it? Hey, let us know. If you like these topics, guys, please subscribe to the channel. You know, tell your friends about the channel, whatever you know. Um, and that's all I have to say on this subject, guys. So until next time, signing off.